Who has five lawyers who are also medical doctors? The most of any law firm in America. Klein and Spector. Maybe that's why Klein and Spector has the most large verdicts of any firm in the country. To our top story this morning, Philadelphia police are searching for a group of teenagers who brutally beat and killed a 73-year-old man with a traffic cone. The attack happened last month in North Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live outside of police headquarters force this morning with much more on the search for those teens. Howard. Jan James Lambert's family is still coming to terms with his death. We spoke to his niece who said that he was like a father to her. Now this attack, it happened outside of the Martin Luther King Older Adult Center and Stephen Klein Center YMCA on Cecil B. Moore Avenue in North Philly. Security video captured the final moments of Lambert's life. The 73-year-old is surrounded by several teenagers who attacked him from behind with a traffic cone. It happened on June 24th. He died the next day. Police believe the teens are between 13 and 17 years old. Lambert niece, Tania Stevens, says she couldn't watch the whole video. She says what surprised her the most was how callous it was. Those cones are heavy. I mean, I, they're heavy. And to pick it up, it was a young lady is what I saw, to pick it up with such force and to throw it, not once, but twice at a at a senior citizen's head. And then laugh about it. And laugh. It, it was a joke. Crazy. It says it's, it's sickening. Crazy. It really was. Now, police say Lambert did nothing to provoke this attack. Police say they're also looking into whether these teenagers were involved in similar attacks around the city. Live outside of police headquarters, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. An incredibly disturbing story. All right, Howard, thank you so much. Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa miya shahala, kwa halo yahawa. Bahashim yawashai, bahashim rakach kodash. Double honors to our apostles and to our elders about the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water toward the Akim, Akwaf, that's out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Jachnan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, man. And as you can see, um, hey, we're living in the last days, man. Things are getting pretty brutal out here. Let me get this real quick. Uh, let's see. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil, right? And we're living in some very dangerous times, man, because people have no regard for, for life, man, you know? Let's get on Matthew 24 and 12 real quick. Not going to be a long lesson, but you can see this is the results of our children from being in, in captivity to a brutal nation of people. For so long that this is what the results are. And actually, you know, this comes from, you know, um, a curse. The curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 that the Lord placed on us for worshiping false gods and going off and doing what the other nations was doing. We made a contract with the Lord and we, we straight broke it, man. And this is the results. Matthew 24 and 12, it reads. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because there's so much sin in this place, man. So much sin. And and, and you'll have the, you know, the so-called white man, they'll stand there and get to talking to you about we're Christian nation and we're righteous and we're the police of the world. We can't just allow um, Russia to go into Ukraine and the, their sovereignty. And man, these, the so-called white man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. And our people being in this place for 500 years, this is the results of it. Straight up. I mean, it just is what it is. Now, are we at fault? Of course we're at fault because we have sinned against our Lord, our power, and we haven't asked for forgiveness as a people. Now, are we waking up? Yes, we're waking up. It's, you know, it's, it's, but the scriptures goes off into, um, let me go off into this um, real quick, two thirds, man. Two thirds of our people are not going to get it. And, and these are the ones that's going to be destroyed. And I pray that I'm not a part of it. I, I really, I really do, man. I pray that I'm not a part of what's coming to um, our people, man. I, I don't want to be a part of that shit. And you should be praying too, that you don't want to be a part of it. Zechariah 13 and 8 here. And it shall come to pass that in the, in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. 
but the third shall be left therein. See? Let's get it in the NLT over here. Let's see how they word it here. Two-thirds of the people in the land will be cut off and die, says Yahweh, but one-third will be left in the land. So we want to be a part of the elect. We don't, you know, we're praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that he will not blow out our candlestick, nor remove his Holy Spirit from us. Um, let's get that in Psalms. Just bring out all the scriptures, man. There's nothing to go to them and read them. Fit, um, Psalms 51, I'm going to start at verse 9. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. This is something that you should be praying for. This is something to pray for, right? Because remember, the scripture says, I just read uh, Matthew 24 and 12. It says, um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So this is saying, hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities, right? Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from the, thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. That's something that I pray for every day. I don't want um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to take his Holy Spirit from me and I go back into the world being a complete nigga, man. Now, do we fall? We fall off? Do we sin? You know, do we do things? Because we're not perfect. We're waiting to get a new body. We're waiting to get a crown. We're waiting on our Lord to make that appearance. But we're, we're trying, man. You know, we're trying. And that's what you should be doing. You should be at least trying, man. You have to know the true names of the Father and Son, Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. That's our Lord and our Savior. You know, Yahweh Shai is not Jesus. There's no letter J in Hebrew, man. It was not calling the Lord Jesus when he walked the earth. It was not calling our Father Jehovah. The letter J was invented 500 years ago. If the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, of course, his name is not Jesus, man. His name is Yahawashai. And it, there's lessons on it, you know. But but his name is Yahawashai. That's his Hebrew name. That's the name that we're supposed to call on. That's our power. Yahweh, Wah, Yahawashai. So, now, let me go in here with these kids, man. That's why it's so important to, um, because this happened at, supposedly two o'clock in the morning what the hell are you you had a 10 10 year old involved in that right and and and, and mainly these are young girls that they three young girls turned themselves in i think um like three of the boys you know one boy turned himself in but you know it's a few other ones that a hey, they just still out here man and, and you know they shook and their parents probably know who the hell they are but then again never never know they they may not know you know, let me see. Um, second address five and eight. There shall be confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out, and the fire shall shall off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mysterious women shall bring forth monsters. That's the point that I want to make. Because these nasty little women on their monthlies, they're bringing forth little nigglets. Monsters, man. Monsters. You can't talk to them. You're better. Matter of fact, when you go and they, they work these jobs, too. <laughs> you know, um, and, and, and it's mainly the, the nigga woman. Oh, my goodness, man. I hate to get on the case of the so-called nigga woman. But, man, oh, my man, man, man. They're so difficult to deal with in public, man. They give you all type of lip, sass, attitude as if you woke up with them in the morning. Like, I didn't roll out of bed with you this morning. You see what I'm saying? You know, but, but, but they're, they're, you know. <laughs> Slakia, man. Well, I mean, it's just, hey, we're, we're, we're finished as a people, man. We're done as a people. I'm listening to the kids across the street right now. And I'm telling you now, they're monsters. They're monsters. I I, I, I listen to them as they're playing and talk. Them niggas is like just straight grown-ups. They, but they like three, four, five, six-year-olds and stuff. But they, but you'll think that when you listen to their conversation, you'll think you're listening to niggas, man. Just straight nigga on the block. Using all kinds of foul language. <laughs> you know, just talking like niggas on the block. But the guy that just rolled away with his music, 
that's where they learn that stuff from. You know what I'm saying? They look, you know, young, young five, young parents. You're raising monsters. Here you go. You got women that's influenced by Cardi B having babies. Women that's influenced by Megan Thee Stallion having babies, right? Niggas that's influenced by uh, NBA Young Boy. These niggas having babies. You get a clash like that, you 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 for sure gonna have some monsters um being born, man. So I'm not gonna keep this long. I just wanted to just touch on this. Um Hey, we're living in the last days. The scripture says, Hey, walk circumspectly because the um the days are evil. Hey, let me see if I can get this one other one on by the spirit. Should be in the apocrypha of B times. Let me see here. Oh yeah, Ecclesiasticus 30, 20, 11. Also known as the book of Sirach. Rise up B time, which that means rise up early, man. Or do, you know, do something, you know, early, so to speak. And be not the last, but get thee home without delay. See? You see that? Rise up B time. And be not the last, but get thee home without delay. This is why you don't want to be hanging out in the streets at night, man. Go handle your business. Especially us as believers, man. It's not, I mean, it's, it's not sin to go out and, you know, do something. Or, you know, you, you know, you may want to go out and have something to eat. You may want to go out and check out a, a, a band or something or... You may want to go out and, you know, just do do stuff. But is it expedient, man? You know? Let me see if I can find that. Because everything is just not expedient right now, man. You you feeling as if you can you can go out and do these things, but everything is just not expedient, man. Let me see here. Which one we want here? Yeah, 1 Corinthians 10 and 23. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. See, you can go out and you can do stuff, but is it expedient? Is it wise to go do it? Is it wise to go and be around? Because it's not even, you know, I remember when they changed like the dress code, right? They used to have this dress code. No, no, no baseball caps and no T-shirts, so to speak. And, and I, I can remember when they actually changed the age range at certain bars and certain clubs where you had to be 30 years old and up as if because it was so many young people that was causing so much ruckus in, in, in the establishment. Right. But shit, even at 30, 30 year olds and up 40, 50, 60 years old, these niggas is in hard bottom Stacy Adams in a damn suit and tie out listening to jazz, and, 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 and these niggas shooting at each other. So it don't even make no difference, man. I just say that it's, it's far best to just stay at your home and, and, and chill out in your backyard, man. Go go be time. Go shop for what you want to shop for. Throw a couple of burgers on the grill. You can throw some chicken on, turkey, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and load up on your drinks. You got your drinks, you know what I'm saying? You got your wine, you may drink beer, you may drink hard liquor, whatever. You got all that stuff already and you're in the comfort of your own environment, your own home. And if anybody is coming by, it's most definitely somebody that you know. And, 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 it, and it should be somebody preferably of this truth. Because even it's a lot of people, mama killing their babies, man. The son killing mama. Daughters killing mama, daddy, who it's a lot of infighting in these homes, man. And see, when it comes to this truth, generally, your, hey, your family, they're your biological family. They'll tell you that they love you, but there's a there's a divide there. And, and the scripture goes off into people that hate the ones that do good. It's a lot of family members that's aggravated with their family for being in this truth, man. You can be hurt by your own family just being around them. Some of them, you just got to just use wisdom and say, no, I'm not hanging around this, man. I, that's my baby. Hey, I love them. That's my whoever. That's my cousin. That's my auntie. That's my uncle. Them niggas is crazy. I'm not hanging around them because uh, you, you have to use wisdom, man. 
When they come around, you speak. But all that old going to hang out with them and them coming to hang out with you, sometimes you just gotta you gotta just leave that stuff alone, man. It's not it's not wise, man. Cause like I said again, hey, you, when you got little monsters running around at two o'clock in the morning beating up the elderly, not a good look, man. But that's amongst our nation. We're living in the last days, and it's gonna get a lot worse. And you know, I've been I've been bringing this out as of late. The elderly are gonna be the elderly and women, single women, are gonna be the most vulnerable. When shit hits the fan. All you women that's talking about I don't need a man. It's going to be the elderly and the women. Especially elderly women. Because these, 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 these fucking monsters, they don't have no regard for life. They don't have no regard for life. You can clearly see that in the video that, that, that was just played. And again too though. Let me, let me just grab this real fast. And I'll end on out. I don't want to keep the lesson long. Let's go into the book of Job real quick. Because the old man, he's not hes not innocent. He's not innocent. Ain't no telling what he done done on his planet throughout his 73 quarters of a century of being here, man. Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, who ever perished being innocent? Or where were the righteous cut off? Who ever perished being innocent? No one's innocent here, man. We all have done things. We're all guilty of sin. We're all um, um, guilty of something, man. And that's why it's so important to repent to Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Because when you hold in those sins and you don't repent, because Jacob tells you straight up, man, hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm 100%. I am God. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never done nothing wrong. You got people that, that 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 think like that. And that's why the scriptures goes off into examining yourselves. You know, even I, I'll be going through that, man. Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, please show me where I'm wrong at. Please don't allow me to get proud. Please help me to be humble. Cause you because you can't have a feeling. Oh, well, I, I didn't do anything wrong. What did I do wrong? Like you're just all everybody think that way. Most people, mostly everybody pretty much think like, ah, well, I was right and they were wrong. It was them that was wrong. And then you get to talking to you, your people's like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is what he done. You ain't going to tell the full truth about what you done. But anyway, just wanted to just touch on this. Um, hey, we're living in the last days. You're definitely dealing with some, some, some monsters out here. For real. So be circumspect. Be very careful, man. These little niggas is hanging out of um, moon roofs, sun roofs of cars, shooting at police officers. Man, I've seen it all this year. The little 19 year old here where I stay at, you know, on um, what I guess the, um, the police officer funeral is going to be tomorrow. I think it is. This nigga shot the damn police officer up with a Draco, man. They killed him, too. But that hey, they, they, he ain't, that officer, man, didn't even get a chance to even um, pull up a gun. And shot his ass up as soon as they pulled up, man. He was 19. So that was a young man that's out of here. And the officer, I think he was only like 25. Jake's, man. You see? So it's a lot of wickedness and evilness that's going on out here, man. Be be very, very circumspect. Like I said again, hey, go to the ATM. Get cash if you got to get it early. Be time, right? Shop. Be time, right? You got to go to the dentist. Of course, that's a little early. Hey, go do all everything. Go do it early. Children getting out of school, go pick them on up, man. Don't be bullshitting around. Get them to the house. You know, just do everything. Just you have to really walk circumspectly in these last days, man. You got people out here shooting up damn schools, shooting up concerts, shooting up parades, shooting up damn Walmart, supermarket. Man, go out and do your business and get home. But pray to Yahweh about Shimei. That's that's one of the important key key things right there too. Is is our people don't pray, and when they are praying, they praying to White Jesus. But you in this truth, pray to Yahweh about Shimei Shai, man, that He'll direct your steps. That's why I always pray for um, Proverbs three and five and six. I know I keep saying I'm gonna end out, but let's get that too though.
Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and verse 6. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Right? In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. So we want Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to direct our paths, man. Lord, please show me where to go. Help me to navigate. Help me to move me around the wickedness. You know, hey, it's simple prayers, man. Them simple prayers, it says the, the prayers of the righteous avail much, man. Them, them prayers go a long ways. Don't think that the Lord don't hear you, man, if you're calling on him in sincerity. You see? So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.